So in this video we're going to start to explore a little bit about the design of the interface. So the first thing we're going to look at is how to create a gradient background. Now if you're not great at picking colors, uh, I'd advise that you use this fantastic tool called Adobe Color. So inside here, if you go to the Explore tab, uh, what they have is different color palettes and things that are trending. For example, the Trends tab. Uh, we can see complementary colors and, and things that will work across your scheme. So if you see uh, some sort of picture, and there's an app as well you can use. So if you download the app, you can take pictures of things in real life and develop a color theme around that. So I like to use this for when I'm developing uh, my applications. But also, I'm going to show you now in Xcode how we can create a custom color. So previously, we were using some of the default colors. For example, here we used you know, red, blue, green. Those are all available to us. But if we want to create something that's a little bit more special, we want to uh, have our, our branding needs met, we may need to create our own unique color. So to do that, we go to our assets, click on the plus button at the bottom, and we can choose color set. We can give this a name, so I'm just going to call it color one for now. And then if we select here and open our properties tab, we can go to show color. And then from here, we can go back to our website and we can choose the colors that we want to use. So for example, if I did a dark blue, I can also add that to my dark theme as well. I'm going to duplicate that color by pressing Command D, rename it. So you can rename it by just pressing Enter or by tapping on the, the name of it twice. And then from there, I'm going to select my second color. Repeat that process. So I'll show you again to add them. Add color set. This one will be color three. Again, I'll show you again how to select the colors. So if my color panel is not there, I can select any appearance, show color panel. And then I want my last color, which is my lightest color. Okay, so now I have three custom colors which I can utilize. So I'm gonna show you now how we can do that. So if I go to my profile view, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a gradient. So within my Swift UI struct, Say let my gradient to so create a, a new identifier. And we'll create a gradient view. It wants me to pass the parameters of colors inside a list. So my first color is called color one. My second color is called Oops, in quotation marks, color two. So these names I'm entering must match the names of the assets that I created. Color three, so now I have my three colors. Okay, so these have just been defined, but I want to actually use them now. So if I create a V stack within my application, this will expand the whole width. I'll add in my text again, so we know which view we're dealing with. And then on that V stack, I can add in my background. So I'm gonna add in a linear gradient, which will ask for a gradient, a starting point and an end point. So my gradient will be my gradient that I just created my start point, we want it to go from the top to the bottom. And if I want to get rid of these white spaces, I can then say edges ignore safe area all. So if I resume this now, my gradient is currently only doing this little box here. So we want to expand that a little bit more. Uh, we can add in some spaces. these inside a horizontal stack 
and you can start to see how it's going to expand to be the height and width of my entire screen. Okay, so it's just about designing your application and ensuring that we fill this space. So now I've got that beautiful profile. So if I go back to my main view, and I click between, you can see the difference between our designed layout and the view. So as you're designing your application, you're going to create uh, a unique uh, interface it's going to have consistent branding across. So what we don't want to see is uh, a beautiful designed uh, gradient or subtle gradient, and then a, a green, bright green page. So we need to have consistency across the design of our app. In the same way that we have consistency of our navigation, we want to have consistency of our design. So that's how you create custom colors and how you create a gradient background for your view.